veggies, but have you tried paying them? And is it okay? A little bribery? Well, we rounded up a panel of moms to answer that parenting question and much, much more. Carol Sullivan is a mother of three and former newscaster and blogger. Author Renee Seiler has two kids. She's the founder of goodenoughmother.com. And Rachel Campos Duffy is a mother of six with another little one on the way. Whoa! She's a spokesperson Woo, for the Libre yay. Initiative. Good morning, Thank ladies. Good morning. Happy day after. Happy Thank you. Happy you all survived the holidays. Okay, first one, let's talk about thank you cards and what we should be telling our kids and how important is it for them to send a handwritten thank you card to a person for the gift that they received. How do you feel about this, Carol? Well, it is definitely my public shaming right here. Because yeah. it's huge. I mean, it's hugely important in pre-kids thank you notes all over it. But it is like wrestling little bear cubs to try and get them to write thank you notes. Yeah. I mean, you've got to get some acknowledgement out there, but I don't know why it's so hard, and I'm sorry, I'm but this same. is a great idea. I, I, I have I'm a hard be all time with it. it now. I, I, don't, I, don't, I will think, admit to that. I, I have think, a hard time. I don't think anybody is saying that we shouldn't do that. I mean, you right. should show your appreciation in some way, shape, form, or fashion. The so the it doesn't question have to be is, handwritten. I think the question is the delivery system, because my mm -hmm. kids are older. I'm okay with them sending a text or an email. It doesn't necessarily have to no, be a handwritten note. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to start early, and so, you know, with my kids, it's like, even if it's a drawing and then I go, you know, aunt, so-and-so, you know, thank you for it. And I write it for them. But to get them in the habit that when they receive, it's our job. Yep. I think yeah. it's really our job to sure. civilize them. And that's part of the process. Yep. Yeah. And it's, so it's phone, kind of phone a phone call. Not good enough. <laughs> no. I know, I'm the same What's way. Like, like sometimes a phone, phone, phone call. call. I don't uh, know. I, I think also it depends on who it's going to. Right. I, I think that's yeah. I think grandma and grandpa, like, sure. you want to yeah. make sure that they know yeah. that they're, yeah. Yeah, they, they were thought of. Okay, next, and, and this is another one. My kids are, are very picky eaters, so I will admit to sometimes bribing them. But the question is, nothing in the Huffington bribing. Post, absolutely nothing wrong with bribing. Absolutely there was nothing. an article about paying your kids, though, to eat yeah. their veggies. How do you guys feel that about that? That would be a costly proposition. I mean, that is not what I do, but I do, I'm all about bribing whether for dessert, you know, or whatever, because you sometimes they just need to get used to the vegetable. They think right. they don't like it. Absolutely. Do whatever it takes to get them to eat it and, and get over that. I, I don't think the whole idea about, hey, this is really good for you works when they're like 18 months old or three years old or whatever it is. I think that you yeah. get the vegetable past their lips somehow, some way, then they discover that they like it. But you got to get it in there first. But yeah. even if it's effective, like, don't you just feel so lame as a parent? No, like, now no, I'm paying no. my yeah. kid to I'm eat okay vegetables? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being yeah, a lame yeah. parent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already got that on other levels. Like, I can't do it. I can't I pay you to eat. To like, I can't. It. I mean, right. I, yeah. honestly, if you model it, yes. they want to have what you're having a lot. Of, I mean, I juice. Not my kids. Oh, yeah. I juice, too. And they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised hey, my three-year-old wants it, you know? So it's... You know. I don't know, but the whole reward system, I mean, if you go on P Pinterest, we're supposed to have, like, a chart, a sticker... A label to oh make my, everything. Well, I know that that the problem is that you're having I mean, like, your Pinterest parenting. Oh. I, I'm like, just say no, no to Pinterest no, no, I just, parenting. Yeah, I turn <laughs> it off. No, I turn it off. No. <laughs> okay, this next one was published on Philly.com. Should parents cut sleepover parties short and have kids sleep in their own homes? In other words, a sleep under. You let them go and basically do everything up to the point of actually sleeping over. Then you pick them up at Heck like yeah. 10 p.m. Is the, is the reason when I read that article, it seems like the reason they're doing it is because they say, well, then they're too cranky and right and the I, kids don't I guess sleep I only well. let my kids spend the night at a place where I know our values won't be undermined in that home and so I pick but once they're there I'm like come on let them have fun and yeah, right. but yeah. Oh, but oh, no no because no. the next day they are can I say this they are H to deal with yes. they, they are horrible they are yes. horrible because they're so tired and then that makes your life worse so I know. Right. No. <laughs> you know they say like okay nothing good's gonna happen after 11 o'clock but sometimes everything awesome happens <laughs> after 11 right. o'clock someone needs to cry in the closet <laughs> you can't yeah. play light as a feather stiff as a board and right. Right. You can't can't play, let yeah. them have fun I mean you really oh. gotta choose your battles and I think that every we all had great slumber party experiences yeah. Yeah. no I didn't no. I, I think sleepovers are good for kids that you can empower them and, yeah. and teach them I to agree. be independent. So. I agree. Yeah. Ladies, thank you. Great conversation. Congratulations <laughs> again. Know, like I said, seven. one Yay. for every day of the week now. <laughs> seven kids. <laughs> We're back in a moment. This is today on NBC. <laughs> so, this is great.